I'm going to uh, read a, a short quote to you. And this is probably my favorite book outside of the Bible. It's a book called The Desire of Ages on the Life of Christ. If you've never read it, pick it up and read the first five chapters and you will not be able to put it down. Listen to what it says on page 161. From eternal ages, it was God's purpose that every created being, from the bright and holy seraph or angels to man, should be a temple for the indwelling of the Creator. Mm, amen. From the beginning, mm -hmm. but because of sin, humanity ceased to be a temple for God. Mm -hmm. Darkened and defiled by evil, the heart of man no longer revealed the glory of the Divine One. Mm. Do you know the, the Bible tells us that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm. As you think in your heart, if, if I've hidden God's Word in my heart, what does that do to your physical, your flesh? What is, it changes things. Yeah. Colossians chapter 3.16 and John 6.63. It, it shows us that God does dwell inside of us through His Word. And I never understood this. Like, why do I have to obey this? Well, He says, let the Word of Christ dwell richly or abundantly in you. For the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So it's like, when I read this, and me personally, I read it out loud. I never used to until God set me free from my past. Now, I don't read the Bible silently. I mean, I can't name less than five times in the last 12 years I've read it silently. Yeah, you mean you read way. it out loud? Verbally. I read it yeah. out loud. And the reason why is, is because when you speak it, you're hearing it. And yeah. faith cometh by hearing. hearing. Yeah. So I have found, I'm not saying you have to, but I have found that it has enriched, it has made my faith really grow. What, what's amazing is you, you think of these, these are words, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. uh, help me hide your words in my heart that yeah. I might not sin against you, right? Digest these words, put them in your brain, put them in your mind, so that when you do come up with that confrontation, that you've got something to stand on. And you know what's neat? Like, I was never good at memorizing Bible verses, never have been good at it. But I found that when I read the Bible out loud, I don't have to memorize it. I don't have to even try. Hmm. As I'm reading it out loud, God's Word is spirit, He's writing it on the tables of your heart. Awesome. And I was like, well, you just read it. God will do it, and He'll bring it back when you need it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't memorize, but yeah. I'm like, for those of you that struggle in that area, hmm. this, this is a good way to do it. The Bible says in Revelation 18, Babylon is fallen. She has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. In the Bible, you've got Jerusalem, which represents God's people, Daniel 9 tells us, and you've got Babylon, which represents the devil's people. And God says, they have, she has become the habitation of devils and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And then he calls to us today and says, come out of her, my people, and be not partakers of her sins. Do you know Paul talks about that? He said, not only do my people do the same things, but they have pleasure in them that do it. It means, oh, I would never kill anybody, but I'll sit down and watch a, an action film where 500 people get shot. I'm enjoying, I'm having pleasure. I would never commit adultery, but on that film, there were three people that were committing fornication and four that were committing adultery. So we watch it and we act like we're immune. Innocent. Jesus will subdue our iniquities and thou wilt cast all of our sins into the depths of the sea. His presence within your heart will cleanse and sanctify the soul so that you may be a holy temple unto the Lord and a habitation of God through His Spirit. God is ready to set us free. And today is the day. There is no tomorrow because you can't guarantee you're going to wake up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If you're at home right now, you hear God speaking to you. You can hear him speaking to you right now as he's speaking to us. Go get on your knees and open your heart to your Savior today, and he will come in and set you free. Amen. Thank you all for having me. It's been such a blessing seeing everybody here.